I went to a getaway trip to um, Whistler, BC, that's in Canada, for um, all my international people. Crew, uh, Jet Set Squad, you know, right here. Um, I'm gonna put a link down below. The squad basically does a little group trip for people, like-minded people who are interested in traveling and stuff like that. So, um, I thought I'd talk about some, sorry, I've lost my voice since coming back from the trip a bit. I think it was due to uh, one of the activities we did <laughs> there. Not my favorite, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but I'm gonna talk about that later in the video. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm here to talk about some of the essentials that I brought and I felt like were so needed on this trip that um, uh, I, I, I purchased specifically for this trip and did end up using. Little guy here, uh, this is the um, the app, this is the AirTags. I, I, it has a little plastic case around it that I put because I didn't want it to get scratched up. That was one of the things that I, I, I heard online that the easily got scratched up and stuff so I didn't want that to happen to this brand new product that I just bought right what uh, AirTag does is basically um it's a tag basically your backpack keychains where you can put on your keychain um where you can put on your keys um and basically tracks where the location of the item is nearby for my luggage just in case if it got lost within transportation um because that's that i've seen people get stressed out about that and i didn't want that to happen myself because there's a lot of stuff that I, in my bag that i need it's gear it's a very important trip by the way this was like a work trip so there was um i had to bring gear because this was not just all fun and games this is also part of my job um nikon z50 oh let me get in focus here z50 right um the Z50 was a compact camera I wanted to get because I felt as though I needed a second camera that's more compact that I could bring with me if I needed to get shots that I didn't want to hold my big camera for. It would come in handy for that specific reason. Um, and also, like, I wanted a camera that wasn't going to limit me in terms of um, doing stuff like 4K or slow-mo. Um, you know, where I had timers and like, you know, I just, I wanted to get the shot that I wanted to get. Um, I used this with a couple of the excursions, um, that we went on. We did, let me name a couple of them that we did. Uh, we did, we did, uh, snowboarding, zip lining, uh, snowmobiling, um, and bungee jumping, um, to, to name a couple of few came in handy when I was on this trip. My uh, AirPods Max, um, these guys are great when you're on a flight. Like, bro, like, we scream, crying babies, loud playing. Uh, you just wanna watch your show that you downloaded on a computer from like Netflix or something. And you know, these guys do the job. I also have a pair of AirPods Pro but the problem with the pros for me at least, I don't know about everybody else, but sometimes the pros kind of like, um, they fall out of one of my ears. <laughs> Cause you know, our human body is not exactly equal. They're great, they're great. They also have noise, like I said, noise cancellation. Um, and uh, yeah, they have also this thing called spatial audio where it kind of makes you feel like the sound is like, coming from from all around you in a sense where it, it's, it's a weird thing it's almost it, I, I can't really explain social audio but it's an experience that you definitely need to experience if you have airpods pro or the max and uh you just turn on your settings um this is my beautiful ipad here ipad pro um i feel like having an ipad pro and is different than having a macbook uh, first of all, the weight is different. The portability um, is different. Um, the fact that you can attach a keyboard and a, and a pen to it is a great addition because say you wanna make a quick note, you can just drag up the notes in the uh, corner from your iPad and write, write a quick note if you really want to. Also, the keyboard comes in handy if you wanna start writing down stuff, ideas and you know, um, and then you could take it all apart and just use the iPad alone and 
watch content or you know um all types of things i feel like it's very versatile yeah one thing about gear is it needs to be robust so you need to make sure that what you're purchasing um basically can can stand the test of time <laughs> and if it falls out like it mine did uh it'll be okay um i bought the ronin rc2 uh this bad boy here uh, i have already the ronin s2 which uh i feel is very big it's the older version there's a newer one out right now um it's a little it's a little it's kind of big and i i didn't want to carry and they didn't have a locking mechanism like this one and the newer ronin the bigger version have and i found out that i find it so useful to just lock it in place and it's not wobbling everywhere um like the previous one um this guy fell out of my bag while snowmobiling uh luckily people behind me my group were able to grab it and uh bring it to me when we stopped at the end of the trail um so that was very lucky uh, <laughs> a little bit of dings in it but nothing like those screen like the room has a screen on it um and it, and it wasn't dinged so it, it, it surprisingly um and yeah i feel like uh that's something that you need to make sure when you're getting gear is can your gear survive a fall drowning <laughs> shit like that uh but those kind of gears are expensive so yeah you know keep that in mind the price is a thing um but yeah justice squad going with, going on the trip with justice squad was amazing um i've been this is my second trip with them the first one when we went to mexico um and uh, that was great i i enjoyed it so much um meeting new people and creating bonds and uh a whole branch of just different people and and also the same thing with uh, this trip going to whistler bc you know it, being though that i'm from canada um toronto to be precise uh canada is very centralized to like to, to be to be honest to two locations either you're, you're you're in vancouver or you're in toronto and most people in the main cities don't usually venture out that far out to go anywhere else and uh that's unfortunate because uh whistler is beautiful like being on top of the mountains and uh taking pictures and just seeing mountains for the first time up close like that's amazing um there's other places like that obviously in canada like uh banff and stuff like that um but damn whistler was beautiful like the snow the like it was just it was just a very it was a vibe it was definitely a vibe <laughs> it was about there's a lot of pictures that came out of that um and a lot of videos that came out of that um we did a, a couple of excursions we did a uh um snow like i said snowmobiling um zipline i didn't get to do ziplining um we also did uh bungee jumping oh terrifying let me talk about that my experience with bungee jumping i'll say this never fucking again <laughs> never doing that again ever in my life it was terrifying um i was i was pumped i was pumped you know i was scared at first but then i got pumped and put myself up i was like yeah i'm gonna do this but once i reached the ledge i was like fuck no <laughs> like fuck no get me off of this and he's just like no you gotta go i'm like no and he tried to trick me too to take my hands off the railing um uh, but yeah it, it was an experience you know if, I, if you see the pictures i have pictures up on my instagram if you see it you'll see my face is like <laughs> i i didn't even well, somebody recording one of the uh people with us recorded me and they're like, oh, you, you, you were screaming while you're on your way down. I do not remember even screaming. I thought I was dead. <laughs> I thought I was dead. But yeah, this trip was definitely needed. Um, it was definitely uh, welcomed. A lot of self-reflecting. I've uh, been going through a lot of like mental gymnastics in my head uh as of a couple of days so basically i just this trip was definitely needed for me to restart my brain a bit 
um, and get back to what's important. And now that I'm back, I can start doing some work. And uh, yeah, definitely you can see a lot of the the soft, the videos and the pictures from that trip. Um, also, um, I am doing, if you are a, a, a potential client or somebody looking to do a photo shoot, I am doing a holiday special right now. So if you go on my website um, and check it out, you'll see the holiday special. Um, like I said, I'm also doing classes. I don't know if I said that in my last video. I'm doing tutorials. Um, where I show videos of how you can edit and retouch like how I do. And then you can also send me messages to ask for requests for other videos to maybe learn how to do other stuff. Um, it's a subscription. So yeah, check into that and see, um, see if you're interested. Um, also, I think that's pretty much it when it comes to everything to update you guys on. Like I said, I've been dealing with a lot of mental health issues. So I am, uh, going through it but <laughs> i am trying my best to uh keep it together and you know stay stable um and yeah you know look out for more videos again you know uh make sure to like comment subscribe um and yeah all those great things <laughs> thank you so much for watching again uh, and i'll see you guys in the next video